What's going on, guys? <laughs> you know what, man? I actually did a video maybe a week or so ago. Might have been a little bit longer. Where I talked about how basically no man wants Amber Rose. Amber Rose is very bitter these days. And she's very bitter because, you know, she's basically, is she's washed up. She's washed up of her time as being the it girl and dating the top rappers is over and now the guy that she settled for ae is with a 76 year old share and she has nobody she's basically a single mother out here reminiscing about or you know uh, thinking about the days where she was she had all this value but what a lot of women like her don't understand, there's a lot of females that are trying to follow in her footsteps, <laughs> Lori Harvey. And they don't understand that at some point you're going to be washed up. Nobody's going to want you. And you're going to be out here. You are, you're hitting the wall, slamming into it. And all you have to show for it is memories and children, right? That's all you have to show for it. And now you're bitter and you talk about how you just want to be single for the rest of your life and and you want to dog out men. Uh, men are not to blame, Heffa, for why no man wants you. No man wants you because, one, you're a woman that have your morality has been thrown completely out of the window. You have no structure in your life, it seems like. And you really have nothing going for yourself as a woman. You try to push this slur walk that has failed because then you tried to slur shame the women that AE cheated on you with. And the thing is, a lot of you heifers don't understand at some point you're going to be another Amber Rose. If you follow in her footsteps, you're going to be another washed up video vixen it girl that's on OnlyFans now and you have nobody, right? You have nobody. And that's going to happen if you waste your life chasing men that at the end of the day, they only see you as somebody to smash. And now you all have all this bitterness and contempt and you need to get your life together. You see this, this see, this is why they hate men who with a red pilled mindset is because a lot of these heifers really don't have anything going on except using their bodies. That's why they go and get BBLs to the detriment of their health. They chase men who have no, <laughs> who have no uh, thought of marrying them. And they think that it's all fun and games. Well, it's, it's going to be fun and games until you find yourself single with nothing except for children and memories. That's all you have left. And then you have to settle for men who end up leaving you for somebody else. That is the reality of the Amber Rose of our society. And you're going to be washed up and bitter and you're going to be blaming men for why you don't you're not in a relationship right now. Look at the type of men you're going for. Look at your lifestyle. Look at your your morals and values. If you have any, you hate religion, right? She, I think she said that she doesn't like religious men, whatever. Uh, you know, you don't have to be a religious person to be a good person. But the fact that you're you're basically putting that energy out here just shows that, you know, you have nothing going on. You're empty and you want to blame men for that. You can't blame us. Blame yourself. Men have absolutely nothing to do with the fact that you're undateable. You're undateable, Amber, because you made yourself undateable. You cannot blame men and I'm not going to allow you to. I'm not going to allow you to. Let's get into this. Yahoo article with this disgusting heifa in her comments. Amber Rose is single and plans on keeping it that way. Well, you should, because ain't no man gonna put a ring on your finger and none of the men that you want, want you. During the appearance on the Sophie with an F podcast hosted by Sophia Franklin, the model and actress opened up about her relationship history, including her past with Kanye West, 21 Savage and ex-husband Wiz Khalifa and shared her thoughts on how men in general have changed over the oh so men have changed that's funny because i i swear a lot of you women want wanted men to change you wanted men to be more softer and emotional and and you know be more uh of what you want them to be and then when they 
start being more of what you want them to be, now all of a sudden, it's the men that have changed. No, a lot of you heifers are the ones who've really changed up or become who more of who you really are. You're out here getting all these surgeries, trying to look like this woman to get this guy. Let's get into it. It's worse than ever, she said. They're pretty disgusting out here. She's talking about men. They're effing gross. Like I want to be single for the rest of my life. Aw. So it's men who are the, the gross and disgusting ones. But Amber, you've thrown your box at half the industry full of men who are who have slept with I don't know how many women. But you're saying that men in general are disgusting. When she's saying that men in general are disgusting, disgusting, she's not talking about the men that she wants. She's talking about the men who want her who are not famous, who are not celebrities. She sees those guys as disgusting, right? She doesn't see 21 Savage as disgusting. She doesn't see Kanye West as disgusting, even though she may not agree with things he says or does, or even Wiz Khalifa. She's talking about the men who want, who now see, who are, are still attracted to her. That's what she's talking about. Because a lot of these guys, these rappers, that these guys don't want Amber Rose, come on. She reiterated, I don't want to share my house or my life with anyone. I don't want anyone around my kids. That That's good. You shouldn't have a bunch. You shouldn't have a uh, different men around your children. So that's good. Let's see how long that lasts. I don't want to have relations. It's so gross. I don't want it. She added that she's okay with the idea of being a lesbian. <laughs> they all go lesbian, right? <laughs> Until they get tired of that. And then they go right back to men but it's also content being by myself. Says I'm very happy to not be in bed with anyone, said Rose, who's 39. See, she's about to be 40, and I think that's where the bitterness comes to, because she's about to be 40 as well. Uh, Rose remarks come as her ex-boyfriend, Alexander A.E. Edwards, who is 36, is dating Cher, who's, six, who's 76. Rose and Edwards were together for three years before ending in August of 2021, with Rose appearing to accuse Edwards of cheating on her with at least 12 different people, the exes share three-year-old son sl uh, slash electric Alexander Edwards. Rose is also a mom of nine-year-old son Sebastian Tomas, whom she shares with ex-husband Wiz Khalifa. Cher and the music executive first began making headlines when they were photographed holding hands on November 2nd in Los Angeles and were seen matching all black outfits outside LA hotspots that week. Following the outing, Cher was quick to confirm the two were in a relationship and defended their 40 year age gap. Writing in a now deleted tweet, love doesn't know math, it sees love. Last month, Cher explained what exactly draws her to Edwards. <laughs> On paper, is kind of ridiculous, she said, of the pairing while on the Kelly Clarkson show. But in real life, we get along great. He's fabulous, and I don't give men qualities they don't deserve. Cher then listed off several traits that, she used, that she'd used to describe her significant other. He's very kind, very smart, very talented, and he's really funny, she said. And I think he's quite handsome. That's according to uh, her. Well, I see why, you know, the, the bitterness with Amber is here. And you know, the thing about Amber Rose is that, you know, this, this mindset that she has, I think there's a lot of women like her. When they can't have the men that they want, they throw tantrums, they try to throw men under the bus and talk about how they're undateable. When in reality, Amber, you're the one who's undateable, Amber. You're the one who can't keep a man. There's a lot of women who've been with the same man for years, but you haven't, Amber. Why is that? It's because it's you, Amber. It's not them. It's you. And you want to get on social media and you want to, and you know, it ain't just Amber. You know, there was a lot of women I saw agreeing with her. It's a lot of you hurt heifers that were agreeing with her because you can't keep a man. All right. You can't get the man that you want. So you want to agree with her because of, let me tell you something about the dating market. A lot of you heifers have actually destroyed the dating market because it's oversaturated with a lot of you mentally unstable women who love dysfunctional relationships and you like dysfunctional men. 
And what happens is you date these dysfunctional men and you become desensitized to actual good men. So when you do come across a good man, you ruin that man. Yes, you do. That man tries to be everything you want him to be and you ruin him because you're not used to a good man. And the dating market is full of heifers like you. That's why y'all can't keep a man because you run them off. You see, prime Amber Rose is the type of woman that a lot of these men would want, despite her scripper past, right? But because she's made herself into this undateable entity that she's become, this, this demon, right? Now, all of a sudden, everybody else's fault? No, you see, the dating market is full of Amber Roses, women who have ruined themselves, women who have slurred themselves out and they they want a man to save them. Ain't nobody coming to save you heifers. You need to fix yourself first. I'm tired of y'all blaming men. All you do is get on here. Y'all claim all us as men do is blame women. We have legitimate grievances. Y'all have none, especially if you're a woman who has been you know very attractive, in the industry around a lot of men with money and resources all over the world and you mean to tell me that you haven't found anybody solid that is a you problem you cannot blame all men for that just because you want to date uh, uh you no know, 21 savage is her ex right that's the same guy she had at the slur walk with her 21 savage you know 21 savage was named artist of the year by one of these publications right and I know that may bother her too, because I don't know if this relationship ended on the best terms, right? Maybe she thought that 21 would fall off after they broke up. You know, that whole him being at the slur walk, that was a bad look, but he was able to bounce back from that. Very much so. And she's about to turn 40 and nobody's going to be checking for Amber anymore. She is, she is fading into, uh, you know, just irrelevance. And I think that plays a part into why she's so bitter now is because she is fading into irrelevance. She went from being like that blonde, bald headed chick <laughs> with, uh, even though she wasn't bald, but I'm just saying the, you know, the, she was that, that, uh, buzzed cut heifer <laughs> that was with Kanye West. He's like, who was that? You know, to, to basically having a tattoo on her forehead and, and basically being left in the dust by, you know, a guy, that she thought wanted to be with her and that she could control that relationship. And, and he would never, cause they had, they had officially broke up in 2021, but I don't think, I think they were still dealing with each other. He go off and date a 76 year old. Like he, he, you know, he breaks up with you. He would a 76 year old. That is a bad look. And now you're a single mother who's going on podcasts, angry at men. You need to look yourself in the mirror and figure out why you are where you're at. And why you don't have what you're looking for. You're about to turn 40. You need to fix your life. Either go into a new direction or continue on the path that you're going on. It's going to make you even more miserable. You got to avoid heifers like this at all costs. So let me stay in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I will see you all in the next video.